Now, no matter how hard you look, one thing you're not going to find in a MacBook Air is an optical drive. If you really want one, we've built one. You can buy this accessory that was made for the MacBook Air. It's powered off the USB port of the MacBook Air, and it costs just $99, and it's very compact. You can take it with you wherever you go with your MacBook Air. But you know what? We don't think most users are going to miss the optical drive. We don't think they're going to need an optical drive. Because again, the MacBook Air was built to be a wireless machine. So what do we normally do with optical drives? We play movies, right? We install software, we make backups, and we burn music CDs sometimes for our cars usually. Well, guess what? We have a much better way to get movies onto our computers now. We can wirelessly rent them from iTunes Movie Rentals right on our MacBook Air. We have a much better way than burning CDs for our car. Most of us have iPods in our cars now. For making backups, we now have Time Machine and Time Capsule to wirelessly back up our notebooks. What about installing software? Well, we're going to do that wirelessly too. We've innovated in a way only Apple can to give a comprehensive solution to this problem. We have a new feature on MacBook Air built right into the operating system called Remote Disk. And so, when you go to the Finder in MacBook Air, you will see in the left-hand column something called Remote Disk. And Remote Disk, when you click on it, will show you all those Macs or PCs in your vicinity that have some special software loaded on them that comes on the disk of MacBook Air, Mac version and a Windows version. And you can pick one of those machines and ask to borrow its hard, or ask to borrow its optical drive. And when you do, that machine will get a request. They can accept it. That's what it looks like on Windows. And so once they've accepted it, you see what's in their optical drive. And you can even you have Mac installer disks inside a Windows PC. A PC can read a Mac disk with this special software and send it wirelessly over to your MacBook Air. And you click on it, and it's just as if you had a local optical drive. And you can install your software. It's amazing. So remote disk, that's how we're going to install software, wirelessly. We go from this to this. And we don't think users are going to miss that. So MacBook Air, this amazing notebook. We also didn't want to compromise on battery life. And so MacBook Air, when you're doing email, you're browsing.